One, two. Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of you for coming here. I really appreciate your interest in our countries and cultures. So for those who don't know me, my name is Naita Brahmanova, and I came from a small, beautiful country uh, in Central Asia called Kyrgyzstan. So I don't want to talk to you about like, the geographic location of my country. I want you to learn more about my culture. So uh, let me start with the fact that Kyrgyz people, they originally were nomads. So they were moving from one place to another. And of course, uh, that's why Kyrgyz culture is heavily influenced by traditions of nomadic life. So Kyrgyz people, they are always was uh, really close to nature, starting from our housing to our clothing. Everything was adapting to the um, uh, conditions of weather or location. So you can notice it from my presentation a little bit later. So. Uh, First of all, I would like to uh, tell you about the traditional dwelling of Kyrgyz people. So we call it yurt. Uh, so it's based on the wooden frame placed in a circle and topped with a dome-shaped tent. So in the middle of the tent, we have a hole um, for the smoke to escape from the hearth, uh, which was used to keep in yurt, uh, like warm in winter time. So uh, the walls of yurt were covered by a mat made of cheese, so it's uh, like rigid grass. And over this uh, cheese, we uh, put felt. Okay. Here you can see uh, how yurt looks like inside. So usually uh, in our tradition, we divide like woman and men's side. So usually the left side was for men. Uh, they were putting their stuff there, like for hunting, for riding. And from the right side, it was like a woman's side. Uh, as you can uh, notice, we have like a lot of carpet. It's like a, a special decoration for our yurt. It was showing your social status. So as many carpets and as many like beautiful carpets you have, the, the more richer, like, the rich person you are. Uh, now let's talk about our traditional clothing. Uh, so the clothes of Kyrgyz uh, were also adapted to the living conditions due to the type of activity. So uh, usually men, they were wearing a uh, calico shorts and uh, trousers, and over this they were wearing kamzol. It's like a tight fitting uh, jacket. So you can see here the men wearing the kamzol. And uh, in winter time, uh, they will usually wear a gown of cotton wool. And uh, uh, the Kyrgyz uh, foot bearing, the, like was boots without heels, so it would be better, like uh, comfortable for them to run because they were hunting. Yeah. I forgot uh, to tell you about our uh, the headdress that a uh, Kyrgyz man were wearing. It's like it's called a kalpak. It's made of felt. Uh, so uh, only men wearing this. So you can see. Now let's talk about uh, women's national clothing. As men, they were wearing like also a short, white short or white dress, as you can see on my dress. <laughs> yeah, it's white, uh, but it's like classic one. Uh, we can, uh, you can use any color, and as you can see, it's kind of comes all. But in modern dress, uh, like usually designers, the sion is together, so it should be separately uh, the white dress and comes all. Yeah. And, um, the console usually uh, can be different colors made of velvet. Yeah, and now let's talk about holidays and customs. So maybe you can think that uh, being a nomad is really boring and we don't have any holiday. 
But uh, to be honest, Kyrgyz, they really like holidays. Just give us the reason and we, <laughs> we will do it as a holiday every time when someone give a birth or like uh, any wedding. We play um, our traditional music, we dance our traditional dance, and of course we uh, cook our traditional food. So here you can see some examples of this traditional food. Uh, on the first picture, you can see our traditional food called Vishbarmak. If you will translate it to English, it will call like five fingers. Uh, and uh, the last picture is our traditional bread called uh, Borso. So we cook it usually on every holidays. And uh, what kind of entertainments do we have? Like uh, nomad people had before. So, of course, uh, nomadic life affects our uh, games and sports. So, um, original Kyrgyz people, they're really good in hunting, riding horse, and we have a lot of games uh, like related to horse. And also, we are good in arching. So, uh, actually, I'm also good in riding. <laughs> uh, yeah, and if you will come to Kyrgyzstan, it's like must-have to try. And uh, originally, since we were nomads, we didn't have a religion, so we were pagans. And but later, of course, in modern world, like uh, we began, uh, we uh, took a religion of Islam. So I'm Muslim. Yeah, and you can ask like what kind of languages so we speak in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, officially, our language is Kyrgyz. So. But at the same time, we have our second language, official, because uh, Kyrgyzstan was part of USSR. So our second language is Russian. Yeah, so we speak two languages. And uh, so thank you for attention. If you have any question, I would be glad to answer it.